Hi Aries, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Aries, we'll just jump right into it. Um, this week I'm doing normal, I was going to say, uh, readings again. Like my intention for this video is uh, what does the Aries sign need to hear most right now? And then to let like source come through with whatever answer fits that question. And um because last week I did love readings, I started to do love readings. And so today we're starting on the 4th, when I'm recording this is the 4th of November and it's going to uh, be for another two weeks. So you, I think you get it now. So for two weeks, there's going to be a love reading and then for two weeks uh, in time, there's going to be a more like overall topic, what you need to hear most right now. So where do we end that? Um, you probably have seen it in the description box, but let's just look for, uh, so the 4th till the 17th, 4th of November till the 17th of November. That's really powerful number numbers. Um, so I'm doing three cards to give me a bit of a story and see if that's all you want or if there's going to be another set of cards and there won't be extended for this time uh love readings that will be extended because i'll do the perspective of your person uh at this moment in time for these readings there won't be extended because i'm gonna focus more on private readings and i just don't have time to do both um guys that's really beautiful first card out is epiphany it's a phoenix rising and it's still leo uh leo sorry it's still scorpio season so it's very deep you're really feeling it transformation wise um and then we have friendship and then we have animal bond but this is basically my freedom card so let's see what's going on here for you aries fairies yeah, I just see huge transformation going on, like huge transformation. You probably are feeling it in this moment in time. It's like with the Phoenix Rising coming up as the first, like the basic card, this is this is the overall energy for these upcoming two weeks. Uh, and I mean, uh, why I'm doing private readings at the moment is because I've had so many questions about what the freaking freak is going on. Um, there's a lot of people feeling the heaviness around this, uh, period. And so Aries, I feel like you are in the same transition here, but it is a transformation. So it's like, it's almost like you're shedding your skin. It's almost like I want to look at this as being a snake, the snake that sheds their skin and then they adapt like to a new skin, but it's, it's not like they don't struggle to shed their own old skin. They just do it. They're just leaving it behind. And so it's like, it's like you've been asked to do the same. Whatever comes up in your life right now, there you moving through with this Phoenix rising, you're moving through something you are, whether that's take whatever it's a general reading now. So take whatever that, you know, what applies in your life, whether that's a relationship work, body, finances, whatever's going on in your life, you're moving through something, you're working through something and you're coming out of it. With the Phoenix rising, it just shows you that you're like, whatever is heavy or, or like really, um, maybe even worrisome to you in this moment in time with the Phoenix, it just shows that you're kind of, you're going to come out. And I have several Phoenixes in this card, uh, sorry, in this deck. And this Phoenix rising is my Phoenix rising dancing. So it's like, you not only will come out of it, you will come out and you will thrive. Like you will, what is that in Swedish? Uh, thrive. You will like total um, thrive. Lyckas är ju fel uttryck. Men like you will excel. You will just bloom and, and, and feel like you made it that sort of feeling. And there's a lot of birds on one side and there's a lot of butterflies on the other side. So in itself, the card is talking about how the transformation, like going from a caterpillar, which is love into the butterfly, which is like, 
the snake that speaks for for change why it's almost like a see it's like i see a snake in the card even though there's not a snake there it just looks like a snake to me today and like how you're how you're leaving your old skin behind which is how you leave your old life it's like your whole life behind and you're moving into this new place in your in your life a new new found place within yourself and in doing so you will find the ultimate freedom that's what i feel like there will be so much freedom out of this but there's some struggle and there's some i feel for some even some worrisome thoughts that you will um, just do the best you can. It's not like I feel like something has come up for you to dig deep into it, to let's get to the bottom of this, let's set up meetings to dissolve any sort of um, mystery that's going on. Or like, it's more like a, it's more like a la 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 la, like the, what are they, monkeys, um, dogs and emojis, I think. You just cover your eyes and cover your ears. It's like just breeze through it. It's always like, don't look. Don't look at it. Just let it arise from within you, whatever struggle that is, that you feel like, is this not over yet? Yes, it is. I did an extra video on this. I, I've done both for my Swedish group and like so specifically to talk about how things are coming up to the surface now. Things that has been like, on the bottom that sort of does not longer it just doesn't serve you and it comes up to the surface not for you to have even an opinion about it's like not gonna care not gonna look that way not gonna engage not gonna not gonna make a big deal out of it if you're making a big deal out of it you're just inviting it back into your life and it will eventually disappear but it's just so unnecessary time spent on things that are already over and done with so if there's like old stuff coming up if you haven't dealt with a money issues for quite some time and all of a sudden this thing happens that needs you to focus on like what is happening i really need some more money because this thing came up focus on the fact that you just wished for more money and then turn your attention towards the money and not the lack of it if that makes sense and then this is epiphany on the bottom and i feel i am drawn to this uh, word this time and so the epiphany talks about how you will come to some sort of understanding around this, um, around this um, evolvement that you're doing right now. Whatever you put yourself through, if that makes sense, at this moment in time, whoever you are setting yourself up to meet, to go, to do, uh, to visit, whatever is going on, uh, sort of just uh, take a brief look at it and then move move forward because they're only there to sort of activate or trigger the last little thing that that sort of does not serve you anymore okay and the next card out is friendship and i feel um first of all it's it has turned into <coughs> excuse me it has turned into my like different uh faces and i think it's so funny because it, it is it is faces but like a face a period in your time so it's different faces and the blue speaks more about how you were a bit naive when you were younger you didn't know all that much and then in we turn into the purple uh period or purple face if you will uh and that opens up your spirituality it opens up the fact that you know that you're not like a singular per person on this earth that but rather connected to everything that exists and and then we move into the golden era and that's where you're headed right now headed get it <laughs> uh so in this phase head uh on the top there i don't know if you see that but like here's more feathers it's trying your wings here's more blooming there's more flowers on top of her her head and here it's just covered in butterflies so that speaks again for the huge transformation that's going on in your life and just try the best you can to put yourself in whatever balance that you can seek out balance 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 meditation drink heaps of water get enough rest get enough sleep um surround yourself with people that really just brings out the best in you if if you that if that means you have to spend time alone because 
the people around you are not that positive right now, I'd rather you spend time alone to keep that balance. So you keep a straight, um, as straight path as you can in, in this moment in time, because that's just going to help you overall to get through all of this. And I feel like at the end of the year, at the end of the year, you're going to be in such a different place that you, you, it's almost like you couldn't imagine it. Of course you can, or it couldn't happen, but that's the sort of transformation I feel right now. So try not to look for, I don't feel good for these two hours. Well, if you have two more months, right, we're aiming for two more months of this transformation. So two more months, just be a bit more for the long haul, like for the future rather than I don't feel good right now. Well, it's just a transformation leading up to the end of the year. So you're moving into the golden era that like that's you guys and i feel like friendship has turned in to be really important for you so maybe there's like friends that you've actually let go of or or friends that you have met uh, recently they're going to turn into um you probably feel these days that you don't take a lot of time to get to know somebody you just instantly know them like there's no like we don't have to have this stretch of time like you did 20 30 50 years ago like today it's more like you have an instant connection and you know straight away this is going to be your friend that sort of thing um and then we have the ultimate freedom card and i just feel like that truly is what it speaks of you're moving in like th this is your if this card is you're trying your wings in the blue face trying your wings, you, you, you haven't even spread them there. You just have them like a little baby bird. Um, and here you, you just have become, you have become the eagle, the eagle that is flying. There's so many birds in this card and there's something a bit about the moon as well. So maybe watch the moon cycles. Maybe there's something coming up that I'm not aware of at this moment in time, maybe that you're aware of some sort of moon coming to some, I don't know, something, there's something with the moon um, that is of importance here. And that is you guys spreading your wings and are, you are so free. You're so free here. So this is what it, it, it will lead to. And like I said, like this reading is for the upcoming two weeks, but I feel like this huge transformation that you're going on, going on, going through probably, probably will go on till the end of the year. That's what it feels like. And, and if you're almost dying out there because you think I can't cope another day with this, if you knew for a fact, for a fact that by the end of the year, everything has shifted, just everything has shifted for you in whatever that means for you, everything has shifted. Would you not be happy with those two months and just do the very best that you could in order to get there as and it's not a sur survival mode, I don't feel. It's more of what can I do now to make the most of this? Not even to survive or have a boring time or anything like that. It's more what can I, where, how, what can, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what can I put myself in to get the most out of this? Because it's, if you're feeling it through all of this change, you will feel so on top of the world. You will feel so on top of things that coming out of this, you will know for a fact that whatever is given to you, whatever you attract into your life, nothing is off the, like nothing is off limits. You can deal with everything. That's what it feels like. I want to get some more cards for you. In this situation for the Aries... Aries fairies is a call you, so maybe there's a lot of fairies that you have around you, which is Elvor in Swedish. Yep. And one more. Uh, first card out, um, to just clarify this, this is you being if you just bring a whole lot more of play into your life, the less you can complain about things and the more you, the more you can play. Complain 
leave the com play, leave the com, <laughs> just play. Uh, if play is, you know, listen to music, go dancing, uh, watch a good movie that really puts you in the right spirit. Um, be more playful, be more curious about things rather than knowing already what has happened, what will happen, uh, rather than choosing your um, comfortable path that you've gone on so many times before, choose a different route, choose something new and not so new that it puts you out of your comfort zone that, that it gets worrisome to you, not that far out, but somewhat far out. Uh, so you can start to get curious about life again. It feels like you're a bit stuck in the rut here and you sort of know what's going to happen and you sort of also repeat what's going to happen. Like I knew that was going to happen and it's not like I knew that was going to happen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's more like to your disappointment and so lift the spirit, sort of take the power back. Sorry if you're being so blunt here, but stop complaining there's something about complaining and, and with, with this card coming out, it's like, how do you get your power back? How do you get your strength back, your control back in your life by becoming like a child, like looking through a child's eye, being way more curious and way more playful, like just having more fun and be easy about things. That's going to bring your power back. And guys, look at this. This is you. I mean, it sounds a bit like I'm I'm being a bit at you, uh, Aries, but I'm really not. It's like, it's just I pick up your energy and it feels like you're a bit outside of all the wonders that is happening right now. It feels like you're not really connected to yourself, connected to source, connected to the beauty, but rather the opposite. Um, and I mean, these are, these are, just the cards that keep coming out you we have the phoenix rising moving through transformation giving you freedom we have moving through the different phases and that you truly have come into the golden era which is your best life um that brings you ultimate freedom guys put a playful spin on it and you'll get all your power back the playfulness the curiosity that's where the control lies this is you being in the midst of the best energy out there. That is you being able, that's not even you asking for this beautiful energy, that's you being able to have that energy come through you. So some, you've done something, you're doing something to let it through. And that's, the, the card says good fortune, and on the bottom it says uh, invite magic in. This is what's happening in your life right now, Aries. Should just stay in it. Stick with, stick with that feeling, and know that that's happening. But if you sort, if you have blinders up and you sort of can't really see, you know this is for you. Okay. Final card out. This is you reminiscing, being nostalgic about things in the past. So here's here's what you need to do. You need to switch this up. If if the nostalgia brings uh, sadness to you, stop thinking about it. If the nostalgia brings love to your heart, if it brings laughter, if it brings like a smile in your face, if it just feels good in your body to think about it, keep thinking about it. If it doesn't feel good, take this approach instead. Just a playful, easy approach to bring the power back. And Aries, through all of these changes you will come out on the other side a so much better version of yourself and to live your best life it really is you're really on your way to live your best life there are so many butterflies and so many birds here so the the expansion and transformation probably is huge in your life right now try not to look so much into what feels heavy just sort, sort of ignore it that's just in the past that needs to come up because i'm getting lighter and then put your focus on the childlike behavior, the, the playfulness, the ease and the fun and the freedom. And you will soon see it. You will see evidence of it in your physical life, but first you need to feel it. Okay. So that was the reading for Aries for these upcoming two weeks. I hope it helps. I hope it uplifts you. It's gorgeous energy around you, even though it's heavy, it's gorgeous. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.